The majority of Americans are currently under some form of stay-at-home order, meaning we are all spending a lot more time getting reacquainted with our couches and with our gaming chairs. And with that extra downtime, more people are turning to video games, especially as they look to distract themselves from the tragedy outside their doors. Look no further than the record number of people simultaneously using Valve's massive Steam gaming platform for proof that gaming is offering people a needed outlet to pass the time and stay in contact with friends and family. But what if you're new to gaming and don't know what to start with? Or you're looking to get back into gaming after a hiatus? Then you've come to the right video because I've got a list of new titles that offer something for everyone who needs to take their mind off the outside world. Oh mama, Final Fantasy VII Remake is, well, the long-awaited remake of the quintessential JRPG or Japanese role-playing game Final Fantasy VII. Originally released for the PlayStation back in 1997, Final Fantasy Fantasy 7, as it's known, is one of the most influential games in history, thanks to its fantastic story and addictive gameplay. Fans have been hoping and praying for a remake of Final Fantasy 7 for years, and with the game finally available, it's the perfect time to jump on it. Packing stunning graphics and a new real-time combat system, the game is a major technological upgrade. The remake only goes through the first 4-5 to five hours of the original Final Fantasy VII story, but it expands to 40 hours by adding a dump truck load of new content. Square Enix, the game's developer, will be releasing additional chapters of the game in the future. Next up, the good old-fashioned demon-destroying mayhem that should be expected by the tagline for Doom Eternal, the follow-up to 2016. 16's outrageous reboot of the Doom franchise. What should you expect from this first person shooter game set in a world overrun by demons? How about a non-stop heavy metal riff powered mad dash through stages of some of the most punishing combat you can imagine? We're talking about running chainsaws through possessed soldiers, pulling the eyes out of caca demons, and blasting the limbs from hell knights. Everything about Doom Eternal takes the franchise's demon slaying insanity, cranks it up to 13, and tosses the dial into a hell pit. Doom Eternal isn't just non-stop craziness though. The game offers smartly designed levels, and the controls are airtight for the kind of fast-paced combat the title is known for. It's a challenging few hours that are time well spent. Next up, we have Animal Crossing New Horizons for the Nintendo Switch. From stomping demon skulls to one of the most relaxing games to launch this year, Animal Crossing New Horizons for the Nintendo Switch is at its heart a world-building game. But the world you build, a deserted island that transforms into a luxurious destination drawing celebrities like crooner KK Slide is so cute and inviting that you feel compelled to keep playing. You'll do everything from build essential tools like shovels, axes, and fishing rods, to filling a museum's exhibit halls with dinosaur fossils, constructing roads, sculpting the landscape itself, and decorating your own home. With New Horizons online connectivity, you can even fly off and spend time on your friends' islands, selling your own wares, and buying items not found on your little bit of paradise. Next up, we have Call of Duty Warzone, a free-to-play battle royale title in which you and 149 other players battle it out across a massive map using everything from pistols to rocket launchers until just one of you is left. The game, which launched March 10th, already has more than 50 million players. And with the team of developers at Infinity Ward and Raven Software continuing to tweak the experience with new game modes and additional weapons, it's clear this title will have staying power. Similar to games like Fortnite and Players Unknown Battlegrounds, you parachute out of a plane over the enormous game map before diving to the earth and scrounging for anything you can use against your competitors. The twist, however, is that when you die, you're sent to what's called the Gulag for a one-on-one -on -one gunfight. The winner is then sent back into the game to fight on, while the loser calls it quits. A lot of people have been playing this game over the past few weeks, including many of my close friends. Are you looking for a more traditional side-scroller? Ori and the Will of the Wisps might be the right option for you, though be warned this title isn't for the faint of heart. It's a challenging game that will require you to restart areas over and over again until you can master the controls and timing needed to move forward. The sequel to the beautifully told Ori and the Blind Forest, Ori and the Will of the Wisps puts you in the role of Ori, a guardian spirit who must find his lost friend Ku. This is the kind of game you not only play, but you fall in love with thanks to its detailed level design and gorgeous visual styling. And there's a decent shot you'll end up tearing up a little at the end of the game too. And if you're not sure whether 
these games are the right fit for you, you're in luck because both Microsoft and Sony offer all you can play services that give you access to hundreds of games for a set monthly fee. And I do apologize guys because I know I haven't uploaded a video in a little while. I've been super busy with everything going on in the world and everything going on in my life. So hopefully you guys can understand and I'm hoping to really get back into making more videos on the daily basis so you guys have more content to enjoy. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys did like today's video, please be sure to drop a like down below. Don't forget to comment your opinion guys and subscribe to the channel if you are new. As always, have a good one guys. Peace.